What up, players? Wobots Tay up in this mood. Got another unboxing for you today, and a little bit of a question for you. I'm trying to think of my next project that I'd like to attempt, and um, I was thinking it's probably not going to be as immersive as Project Dwarves was, which is like, you know, progress and updates every day, but probably going to be over time, a little bit more over time, so that I can devote myself to like a bunch of different other various projects instead of just one thing for like a whole month. For, uh, especially for my viewers who don't care for whatever I'm doing, but um, I thought maybe one of an one of uh, a good idea for an upcoming project, one of the many that I'm mulling over in my head is to do a Black Templars army uh, using the Black Templars Codex, which you know, if rumors are to believe, might be might be like obsolete sooner than we think. But um, instead of painting them in this black with white detailing. Um, actually painting them up as Astral Claws, which were what the Red Corsairs were before they turned to chaos. And um, I've been reading some of the fluff, I really like it. Um, the iconography, the just the, you know, the the whole idea, the whole concept of a, of a Space Marine chapter that, um, that, like, it was a crusading chapter, which is kind of where I draw the parallels between the Black Templars and um, when I was doing my research online, a lot of people online use Black Templar Codex when um, playing the, their Astral Claws army. But um, yeah, you know, I, I just don't like painting black and white, really, if I can avoid it. And I'd much rather have like a fluffy, fluffy army using um, using the, the rules than than to have something that everybody else has. So. I like to be different, you know what I mean? So, um, Astro Claws. So I'm, I'm going to paint this guy up as an Astro Claw and um, I'm going to first review and unbox this model and then we'll build him up and then I'll show you what um, what he looks like all built up and then I might do a painting tutorial on how to do an Emperor's Champion but not as a Black Templar but as an Astro Claw. So stay tuned for that. Let's take a look now at his sprue, shall we? You get a Space Marine backpack. You get the base, of course, and then you get one sprue, and all the major pieces of the model are on it. You've got the Emperor's Champion, his sword, arm. On one side, one side it says Imperator Rex, and on the other side it says let me Imperator Rex on that side, and I have to actually hold on. De Castigator. De Castigator, it says on the side. He's also got a bolt, uh, holstered bolt pistol. I think that's a bolt pistol, is it? That's kind of small. Anyways, I'm going to build this guy up and then we'll take a look at it, see if there's any flash, uh, excessive flash or miscasts or air bubbles in it. All right, stay tuned. And here he is, the finished model. He looks pretty good. He had some really terrible mold lines. You can see there on his shoulder. This is the left shoulder pad. There's one that ran just vertically right down the center of it. So I'm gonna have to go in with a little bit of a sanding paper and just like get a little bit uh, into there because uh, what a horrible place to have a mold line. Um, there's some flash around the feet at the base again, so I had to clean that. But other than that, it was pretty good except for that one mold line. Also, there was a really bad mold line right across his helmet, but that one was pretty easy to clean with the the. The, the tip of my modeling knife just um, trying to be careful with the shoulder pad because it's supposed to be so smooth right and that mold line is just really really poorly placed there but I love the pose I love um, just how purposefully he looks striding forward and like I said I'm gonna paint this guy up in um, Astro Claws colors so if you want to see that then stay tuned thanks again for watching this unboxing review of the Emperor's Champion for the Black Templars we'll see you in the next video